Palace at home. It is now official, no longer a rumour, that we have signed Kurt Happy Zuma. Will Lingard now come? What is your view? In a week where Ronaldo returns to Man U, Europa League draw, we know who we play. A six-game league at home and away. How will we do? It all depends. Just four more days till the window ends. Let's hope for news of purchases made to build our squad before games are played. Now on to today, the games at three. We'll beat the Eagles, I do decree. A 100% record, nine points to accrue. Maintain top spot for our claret and blue. I'm travelling home from the Forest of Dean, so for me the match will not be seen. The game starts well, Antonio is there. The keeper comes out, balls up in the air. A goal line clearance by Joel Ward. Then we go 1-0 up. Fournells has just scored. A great one too. A brilliant goal. That link-up play was great for the soul. Half-time is done. We're still in top spot. Three games in and nine points we have got. The second half is underway. And Crystal Palace have most of the play. Then an equaliser. Gallagher gets a 100% record Palace upsets. Of Bonner and Dawson have nothing to boast. Shot beats Fabianski as he covers near post. But 10 minutes later, the lead has been righted. Antonio scores and we're all delighted. He's in the box. It's a left-footed shot. We've taken the lead. Nine points we have got. We're 2-1 up with his 50th goal. Then two minutes later, we're back in a hole. Gallagher again, he dashes the dream. Again our defenders, at fault it would seem. Was he quick-footed or was Dawson slow? Got to make a block or at least have a go. Then 90 plus two, gooey with a head. If that was on target, our hearts would have bled. The ref blows up and we get a draw. Can anyone else see the obvious flaw? We need some action to increase the squad. Is it just me that thinks it is odd? Players are there right under our noses. We need to act now before the window closes. A valiant draw and we are still top. A good result too for us up at the cop. Chelsea's 10 men, they force a draw. On Saturday night, we're top once more. Then on to today, two teams are a threat. Spurs and United, top spot they could get. We hope they both draw, then top will remain. Let's hope that the spuds will choke once again. Fingers are crossed, they don't take our place, because we know those cocks will be on our case. Our West Ham pride might suffer a dent if Spurs are on top with 100%. With all of my odes, I try to stay true, but sometimes my passion emboldens my view. Yesterday's ode had some speculation, so I'll be careful in future and use trepidation. I had no intention to offend or cause malice on a day when West Ham drew with Crystal Palace. The post about Zuma that some of you slated, 11 hours later, I was vindicated. The research that I do before each game, if I get it wrong, I'll take the blame. So before you rant and ask who I am, I just write odes and I love West Ham. To all of the fans who watch here today, I wish you all well on this bank holiday. Some family time and hope for good news and a celebration point if Tottenham lose. Come on, you irons!